Video recording. Sound recording. Hello everyone, welcome to another video. I'm Alana Murray and in this video we're going to talk about how to act confident. Now, we all have our preconceived ideas about what confidence is and looks like. But it all comes down to which character has the highest status in a scene. It is essentially the difference between a low status character and a high status character. This also means that a lower status character or scene partner can make your character look higher in status or more confident simply by comparison. So without further ado, let's get on and have a look at some acting techniques we can use to appear more confident. A high status character has what we call confident body language. They stand tall, with their back straight, their chest is open, their muscles are relaxed, not tense. In other words, their body is physically open. We can call this expansion, which you can compare with contraction in a less confident character. They don't fidget. Their physical movement is controlled. They don't rush actions. They speak clearly and deliberately. There's no umming and ahhing. Umming and ahhing. They don't stumble on their words. They don't rush their words. Confident characters also make clear, unfaltering eye contact. Overall, they are physically steady. Put very basically, all this is the opposite of someone who is not confident. Someone who stumbles on their words and hunches over and can't make eye contact and so on. In this first example, I play two characters. One is of a higher status and the other is of a lower status. Here, the reflection character, the one seen in the mirror, or the one who is the character's, the main character's reflection, is seen as the character with the higher status. They're more confident. Notice how they are composed, controlled. Their movement is more deliberate, not rushed. They are physically open, and they are even smiling. You can compare this to the other character, the one of lower status, who is moving much faster, reacting more, less composed, and so on. Here's another example where comparison with a lower status character is useful. Compare my character to the other character in this scene. The other character is more panicky, flinching almost, standing hunched up. She's contracting her body. My character stands tall, expands her body, and embraces her surroundings. She's not afraid. Confident behaviour, or behaving like a high status character, is about controlling energy. High status characters are non-reactive. This means they don't react to other characters in the scene. What I mean by that is they drive the scene. They have other characters reacting to them. In other words, high status characters are not afraid to initiate contact, whether this be eye contact, verbal contact, physical contact, so on. Of course, they react to other characters. I mean, not reacting to other characters is just bad acting, but they are driving the energy that causes the other character to have to react to that. They're in control of that force. They are not the ones merely reacting to it. They are initiating it. That's the difference. So we would call them non-reactive. Deliberate calm eyes are very important for appearing confident. Don't have them darting about. You just look unsure of yourself, self-conscious, not genuine. It can also look like really bad acting. In this next example, my character demands the company of the other character. My character's eyeline is direct. She stands tall and movement is controlled. Her body is physically open and she is initiating all the contact. Oh, good, you're up. We need your vote. Okay, so she's tall, relaxed, has generally steady eye contact when she's talking to the other character, so I'm getting some things right here. But look, those eyes are not completely steady when she immediately walks into the room. And this makes me look a bit self-conscious. It makes me look not as confident as I should look. So this was only the second film I made and I was still very much learning. To exemplify what I'm trying to say more, compare this scene to another scene where my eyes are more still. It'll be fun. Great! Also, it helps that the other character is acting lower in status. She's more fidgety and reactive. As such, by comparison, I look even more confident than I otherwise would have done. 
Generally speaking, higher status characters seem calmer than the other person of lower status, even when they might not be calm. This is because high status characters do not lose control when they encounter emotions such as rage, adrenaline, fear, any of those emotions that would otherwise make you lose control. Instead, such emotions are managed in useful ways, such as forcing a character of lower status to do something for them. Like confessing to a murder in a crime drama or the becoming a vampire in a vampire film. <laughs> in this next example, my character is being denied something. What if I say no? It won't matter. Watch how she tries to not let the discomfort of this show. Even though the viewer can detect it slightly, she forces herself to remain composed. Everything that a high status character says is targeted to the other character in the scene. What kind of scandal? There's no reactivity and pausing. Unless it's a deliberate pause used to unnerve the other character. A higher status character is usually the one controlling the flow of conversation. We need your vote. Don't forget that. For those of you now wondering about ad-libbing all over the script, I don't mean that. Actors give energy to a script and this energy can be controlled. For example, you could say the word hello in as many different ways as possible. You could say it as a high status character or a low status character. Hello. Hello. So when a high status character is called for by a director or scriptwriter, think about controlling the flow of the conversation or dialogue or whatever you want to call it. Be non-reactive, this means attack. Don't be reactive, that is, don't be defensive, don't have defensive body language. Jump on all cues. Don't pause between every line like there is a bad connection. A higher turn a higher status character tends to jump on the other character's lines. Or at least jump on the lines of a lower status character. I don't mean talk all over their lines, obviously. Unless, of course, the director wants this. I mean try to be the one to set the tone of the conversation. Your character should not want to give others air time. Of course, you will have to let them say their lines. Don't be a dick about it. But I'm just saying, this is the intention of the actor of higher status. To control, to impose, to be the one to direct the conversation, to not pause, to not react to the other person's lines, to not have to think about it, to just push forward with new energy. Wanting to control that force. It gets more interesting when you get like a status battle where one character will be like, well, the two characters will be trying to control and get status that is higher and lower and, and this is something for another video about status transactions or battles or whatever you want to call it can make interesting drama but for now we're looking at the intention of acting confident or a character of a higher status Thank you for watching, I hope this has been useful. This has just been a bit about how to act confident. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. And as ever, these techniques are by no means exhaustive and you may have techniques of your own that you might want to discuss. Feel free, uh, let's generate a discussion about this. Bye for now.